What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a pop-up to your lead pages page. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to do is click on conversion tools, select pop-ups and click on create new pop-up. We're going to give it a name such as YouTube pop-up. And then the actual editing of it is pretty much the same as you do for a regular pop-up when you're actually creating landing pages. But it's cool this way because you can add different pop-ups for different reasons. So this is the basic idea. Um, there's not much to customize here. Uh, maybe something like let us know where you want us to send you the free guide. But really you should know how to customize pages because the idea is the same here. Make sure to check out the video how to create landing pages to get an idea. But let's suppose we're done here. Let's add an integration also for example. Let's say we're going to use get response integration as per the previous video. Let's create next. We can leave it at email and we can take them there. Okay. So once you're happy with your pop-up, um, you click on publish and now you should get a code. And now there are really two fields uh, which we do need to look at. So the plain text button link and image link are pretty straightforward. You do that within the actual landing page. It basically opens a pop-up when someone clicks an image or someone clicks a button, someone clicks a plain text, which is what you can do within the actual landing page builder. But what we are looking at here is the exit intent pop-up and the timed pop-up. So how long do you want the um, pop-up to show up after someone is on a page? And then do you want it to show on every visit before the pop-up shows up? And then how, how often do you want the pop-up to show after it someone has already seen it? Okay, so that's what you would edit here. Now, if we go to exit pop-up, what this does is every time someone tries to leave, so if they hover, you know, the top part of the of their current site, it will trigger this pop-up. So this shows how often you want it to show. So if we say two, for instance, it will show it to the user once, and then after two days, uh, the timer resets. So if a, if a user clicks on your page now and they try to exit, the pop-up will show up. If they try to exit within the next two days, they will not see the pop-up, okay? So once you're happy with whatever it is you want to do here, you click on get code, you copy it, you go back to the landing page. In this case, I have mine open right here. Go to settings, go to analytics, and you paste it here immediately before the closing body tag. You click save and you click update. And now let's just take a quick look to see what that looks like, but we're pretty much good to go. almost there and we'll view page. So let's suppose a user is on the page that da, 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 I'm a user tried to exit boom. Okay. A pop-up shows up. So as you can see, this is a completely different pop-up than what we have here, which we've created in one of the previous videos. Uh, but every other time I try to exit on this page, it will not show up. However, if you have a site, not a landing page, but a site, which we'll cover in one of the later videos, if someone navigates to a different page on the site, then the pop-up will again show up for every single page they go to, unless you put, you, you put in that uh, timer delay show every X number of days. But that is it. That is how you add a pop-up with lead pages. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. You will also like my Unbounce playlist and my Google Ads playlist where I show you how to drive traffic to your site. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.